Yeah, I have It's an absolute honor. I see you two are the strong and silent type. Fortunately, I didn't bring you guys here to talk. Simon Schultz. Heard quite a bit about you as well. You're the man that killed the Aaron brothers, aren't you? Yeah. So who the hell are you? Language, Mr. Schultz. So if it is my understanding, you two are the best hitman this town has ever seen. Now, if I need someone to disappear, let's say a couple people to disappear, you guys are the ones to hire. My name is Louis Cabot. Now I want to hire you. Excellent. Now let's get on. You know you could have done this without abducting us. Forgive me, but uh, nobody outside my inner circle is permitted to know where I conduct my letter would have sufficed. Schultz, shut up. So it's a job. So, a few of my associates, let's say, decided to take a leave of absence. Now, when they took this leave of absence, they took some of my valuables such as my money, my drugs, my fun stuff. Well, we aren't in the service of getting your shit back. We're hitmen, not delivery boys. I know that. But I need you, too, to get rid of these men. Now, you can dispose of them in any way. I don't really care. Make it gruesome. Make it look like an accident. Personally, I don't give a shit. I just want them gone, and I want my belongings. So when you do kill them, just leave the belongings where they are. Call me, and I will send my men. They will pick it up. Doesn't sound too hard. Yeah, it doesn't for you guys, does it? Now, one of these associates took an object of great importance from me. It's in a black briefcase. Only I know the combination on the front. Now, I need you two to recover this briefcase, and I want you to bring it to me. Why can't your men just bring the case back? Well, you see, the object inside of this briefcase is uh, of great importance, and I need a person I can trust, or persons I can trust. Right, so what's in it for us? Now, boys, isn't the pleasure of working for me the reward? How do you think? Now, I'm only joking. But, um, I'll handsomely reward you guys. Let's say, um, a million each. Horse shit. No. I'm not the person that really jokes. Wait, so what's the catch? No catches. No games. Just a man simply proposing a business arrangement with two fine business associates. All right, we'll do it. Excellent. All right, so who are the targets? All the information you need is in the binder. Ah, this shit again. It's been a pleasure. Can you believe that sucker? A million dollars each to kill three people? The guy's either desperate or he's mental. That's a hell of a deal. The guy's a damn moron. This doesn't feel right. What do you mean? Those Louis Cabot, leader of the largest crime syndicate in the States. I mean, the guy wasn't even intimidating. He was cheerful for Christ's sake. Why does he need us to kill these people for him? He could just as easily get one of his people to do it for much cheaper. Don't complain, man. The guy's given us the opportunity of a lifetime. And, be set for life. This is too good to pass up. And besides, isn't this what you wanted anyway? The opportunity to get out of the game. You do this job, and you be set for life. 
look, man, I know you don't want to do this forever. You want to have a normal life. Start a family. All that fluffy shit. This is your best chance to do that. One more job, and you can retire to wherever the hell you want. Get married. Buy a house in the goddamn suburbs. And spend the rest of your days driving the kids to soccer practice in your minivan or some shit. Close, but there's no way in hell that I'm driving a minivan. So what's your plan then? After I ride off into the sunset. Might just take a break, you know? Travel the world, see some shit. Party like there's no tomorrow. But after that, I'll just come right back to work. I love it too much. But no matter how long I'm gone, the thrill will always keep me coming back. No, it's the difference between you and me. We take pleasure in our line of work. For me, it's just a job. Don't BS me. There's nowhere you'd rather be right now than driving this car with me on our way to kill some folks and make some cash. No, I'm not gonna miss the killing. I sure miss you, Schultz. Nah, don't get all soft on me now, Galahad. We still got one more job to go. Alright, first target's Eugene O'Neill. He's in charge of Kabat's money. Did your contact come through? Yeah, he did. Should have shut down the power to the whole block. Should be lights out. Okay, good. Pistols only, man. Oh, where's the fun in that? Only a couple guards. Should take about 10 minutes. Let's go. Let's do this.
Where the hell is he? Well, I'll find him. Come on, let's keep looking. Wait, look. There he is. There he is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go. in the country. So why'd you do it then? Why'd you cross him? I'm not a bad person, you know. I just made my mistakes when I was younger. Owed money to the wrong guys. Cabot saw my potential. I'm good at moving money around. He bailed me out, but he made sure that I was in debt for the rest of my life. For the past 10 years, I've had a gun against my head. I, I just wanted it now. We well, got out, all right. Do you have the briefcase? What case? Black briefcase. Combination one. I don't know anything about briefcase. You're not lying to me, are you? You got a gun pointed at my face. You think I'm gonna lie to you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Maybe. You swear you're not gonna kill me? I swear. Okay. Amir wasn't lying. Everything's there. He doesn't know anything about the briefcase. Are you sure? You're not gonna kill me, right? You're gonna let me go. You swore. You're not gonna kill me, right? You swore. You let me go. Oh yeah, that's right. We did say something like that. Come on, Grace. Let's go. says that Marcellus Briggs might be with him in an office building. You think they know that the other Well, if they do know, then security is going to be tight. Well, it's a good thing I love a challenge. Somebody's calling me. What is it? It was Griggs. What do you want? He says he's at the St. Stephen's Chapel. It's just across the road. He sees us. He said he wants to work out a negotiation. All right. I guess we could go. Sure. Let's, let's do it. All right. All right. Let's go.
fairly well. We ain't got no guns. Good. Have a seat. So, so what do you want, Griggs? No. It's pretty impressive what you did to uh, Eugene's men. We all know Eugene's not a fighter. All right, cut the shit. The hell you say me? I'm sorry, Helen Keller. Do I need to put that in Braille? All right, boys. Let's calm down here. What do you really need with us? All right, here's the deal. We both know that only Louie can open this case. What I'm offering you is you kill Louie, I give you the case, and 750000 each. It's all yours if you want. It's not enough. done working for people like you.
Good evening, gentlemen. Congratulations on a job well done. Where's the money? Well, you'll get your money when I see the goods are not damaged. Money's in the trunk. Keep it. What the hell is this? Where's our money? Pleasure doing business with you.